Hello people who cannot sit at home, thank you so much for joining me. This video is going to be about our boat day, but it's also going to be about the millionaire's row and billionaire's row in Muskoka. What I'm going to do is talk to you about, in the beginning of the video, what exactly we rent, how we rent, what are the rules, I'm even going to go into the pricing of the pontoon, we usually get a pontoon. We are renting our pontoon this time from Bala, which is in Muskoka, center of Muskoka. And I'm going to talk about all of the celebrities that have cottage or like to cottage in those areas. I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I did this research just on the internet. There's nothing scientific about this. I'm not, I don't know if this is facts or if this is just rumors. I thought I would do this video because it's fun and because we went for a trip around Lake Muskoka. And I think it's just fun to know what celebrities like Muskoka and Cottage here. But before we get into it, let me just talk about my books. This just recently came out on Amazon. It's one of my books. It's all about weekend getaways. And I'm going to link all of the information down below. And I also have, of course, my regular Ontario Road Trip Journal, which is the spring and summer for daytime tripping. And my fall winter, if you would like to go on a day trip in fall or winter. So please check out those books. And without further ado, let's go. So here's our lovely pontoon. It's a boat. I think it can fit up to about 10 people. There's only six of us and we do love pontoons because they're fairly stable. It's like family kind of boat because, you know, we're, we're, we're doing boat every day. So we need a stable, nice boat. The main captain of our boat is my brother. He has gotten his Canadian boating license. It is over here. I'm showing you a website, but I think there's a number of websites you can do this at. You can buy for one, you can buy for three people. Uh, of course, he just did it for himself. It's called Pleasure Pleasure Craft Operator Card. Over here is the, the prices. It's actually really cheap, 50 bucks, and it's unlimited access. Uh, you can get the license in about three hours. I know my brother took his time. He like took like a month to do it because he, he has work and stuff like that. But he said it was fairly easy. And then that license is actually valid for the rest of your kind of life. But it is a good idea to kind of do a little bit of refresher here and there so that you're not uh, outdated. Here's the re website where we rented the boat from. It's called Bala Cove Marina. We rented this guy for $600. So 600 for the boat, 78 for the tax, and 150 for the gas. In total, it was 138 for each person, and there's six of us. So I have my notes over here, and I'm going to show you all that I could find on the internet. I'm going to show you the pictures of celebs. So let's go. First is I want to talk about people who have vacationed in Muskoka, so just rented a cottage. Last year, the Mark Wahlberg, uh, David Beckham, and Toronto Maple Leaf legend Ty Domi, uh, vacationed in Muskoka, as I understand, on Lake Muskoka. And also Victoria Beckham has been seen in that kind of group as well. I don't know if she was together at that time with them or not, but just really cool. The next one who have vacationed and who likes to vacation is Justin Bieber. He's a huge jet ski fan. So of course Muskoka allows for that. And he usually, as I understand, rents in either Lake Muskoka or Lake Rousseau and on, on specifically on Old Woman's Island. And of course, his wife, Haley Bieber, also has been photographed in Muskoka together with Justin as well. Another celebrity, I believe he actually owns, but I, I couldn't get for sure, is Simu Liu, who is uh, starring in the Barbie movie, just coming out recently, very excited for that. So he spent Canada Day actually in uh, together with his girlfriend in Muskoka, and he does say that he's been uh, going there for a decade, for over a decade. So I don't know if that's enough reason to believe that he actually owns or he is just renting. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. What we usually do on our boat trips is that we, of course, drive, then we stop over to eat, and then we drive again, and then we again stop over to eat, and then we drive, drive again. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a whole day. I think we spend about, I think this was about six hours on the water. Oh, and we also swim whenever we can find a place that's fairly uh, not too deep and not too far from the shore. We also swim. Over here, I'm going to talk to you about specific lakes, and these are uh, owners, or at least what internet is saying they're owners. So first stop, Lake Muskoka. Cindy Crawford and her husband, Randy Gerber, who's also an American businessman, they own a cottage in Muskoka, on Lake Muskoka. Another resident of Lake Muskoka, allegedly at least, is Tom Hanks. 
he actually bought property in Muskoka because of his friends, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. I'm going to talk about them later on as well. And another very, very big name is Steven Spielberg is also allegedly owns a cottage in Lake Muskoka. Uh, he's a big fan. Now, by the way, the Lake Muskoka, and I'm going to show you the area because this is the area that apparently is the millionaire's row that people are saying that where millionaires are i it's very hard to actually nobody actually saying where exactly that is but i'm assuming it's kind of in that area and this is sort of actually where we are right now uh in the in the video our boat trip and here's another fun thing we usually try to do while on a boat day is we try to stop at a public beach so over here we're docking and over there there was a bathroom i'm gonna link actually the name of this beach because this was a great beach i don't remember the name now but it was great uh perfect little stopover so that we get to relax on the beach usually 20 minutes and then we and then again we head out into the water and we usually see cool things like for example people water skiing over here So now let me talk about people who own in Lake Rousseau. The main one is, of course, Goldie Hawn and her husband, Kurt Russell. From what I understand, these guys have owned that cottage for quite some time. That even Kate Hudson was photographed in, like, middle of 2000s. You, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking in that cottage. I don't know if she was renting or she was at Goldie Hawn's um, cottage, but she was also there. And another name that I am sure you know is Martin Short. He's a Canadian born actually. He's an SNL alumni and he also owns a cottage in Lake Rousseau. Love this bridge over there, very unique and also liking this kind of inflatable. I don't know how my boyfriend saw this, but from far away he saw the plane, which is so cool. I can't believe somebody actually has a full on plane in their cottage. That is just, that's what Muskoka is all about, isn't it? And here's a cottage on its own island, very cool. Now, another really famous lake is, of course, Lake Joseph. This is the one that the north part of the Lake Joseph is called the Billionaire's Row. And why, I couldn't find. If somebody knows, please let me know, because I couldn't find any, like, big billionaires in there. I do know that Kevin O'Leary has a cottage there. And another person that has a cottage at Lake Joseph is uh, Joe Azuri, who is, like, a big mogul of real estate. I don't know if those guys are billionaires. I haven't checked, but that's all I could find for the billionaires row. So if anybody knows much about it, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you do rent a pantoon. If you do, let me know how that goes. Or you can check out Muskoka. You can go to Bala, buy just car and enjoy it that way too. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my content and I will see you next time.